sorry I had to keep my news on the down low all day, but I didn't want you to be distracted during school. Too late. I was distracted all day trying to figure out what the surprise was. Sorry so late. I had to run all the way from the gym. <clears throat> right. It's the opening weekend of Pocket Plaza, the first six-star hotel in history. And yours truly has a standing reservation in the penthouse suite. That is mad awesome. But how does it affect us? <laughs> I was just getting to that part. My dad said I could bring anyone I wanted. So consider this your live invite. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> awesome, yes, Polly. Right. And get this. There's going to be a massive poolside bash. All proceeds go to charity, of course. And my dad said our band can warm up for the hottest pop star on the planet. Eric, Eric Wilder. Wilder? The one and only. Oh, he's so yeah. dreamy. And since it's a super special occasion, I invited Cousin Pia, too. I haven't seen her in over a year. And I can't wait for you guys to meet her. Gotta bolt. See you girls later. Just think, in a few days, we'll be breathing in the same air as... <sighs> Eric Wilder. <sighs> Why does the cool stuff always happen to Polly? Do you realize if she performs on live TV, she'll be even more popular than she is now? But she's already the most popular girl in school. Which means, as number two, I'll never be able to take the number one spot. I thought you were like number seven. No, she's more like number six. I'm number two. Number two? But if I can find a way to humiliate Polly on TV, I'll move up to number one. Sure you're not number seven? <sighs> Does she have an off switch? Rick, Todd, can't talk, running late, but I'll see you at the Pocket Plaza this weekend, right? What did she just say? She lost me at Rick, Todd. Hello, Polly. Hey, Samuel. <laughs> Ollie! See, I told you we'd have plenty of time to get to the airport. Last time we moved. I believe I was in the financial section. Well, we're not going to let a little traffic jam get in our way, are we, ass man? Certainly not. Engaging engines. Welcome. To Pocket Plaza. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, my apologies, madam. We are not amused. Welcome to Pocket Plaza. Oh, a koi pond? Right this way, ladies. Randolph will show you to your suite, madam. And you, of course, will be staying in the penthouse. Welcome to Pocket Plaza, Miss Pocket. Thank you. Your father told us you were coming. If there's anything you need, I'm at your service, Polly. the new hair, love the tie, love the skirt, the whole ensemble, loving it. Thank you. What's with the hoity-toity accent? It goes along with the boarding school look, right? I'm afraid you've mistaken me for... Getting warmer, but the accent still sounds... You don't understand. I'm not. Polly? Oh. <gasps> Two Pollys? <laughs> Sweet, the penthouse comes with your own personal clone. You look fantastic. Which means so do you. <laughs> I'm so sorry we didn't hook up at the airport. No worries, I got your message. You girls get settled. I'll check up on you later. Well, what are we waiting for? This is going to be the best weekend of my life. Chicken. Ever had that perfect kind of day? Everything is working out.
anything. Oh no! Really? Okay, love you too. What's wrong, Paul? My dad's stuck at the airport in Iceland and can't get here this weekend. Bummer. Way bummer. He wants me to make the dedication speech at the party. And our band performs that night. But if anyone can make giving a speech look cool, it's you, Paul. You really think so? Totally. Now, about this band situation. I sort of kind of wanted to be in a band my whole life. In fact, I've laid awake night after night fantasizing about being on stage. Just me and the music and the fans screaming my name. Pia! 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 Ra! <laughs> Think we have room for one more girl in the band? She doesn't exactly see rockstar material. Neither did we when we first started. And who says we can't transform her into a rock star? I can help her with dance moves and rock star poses. I'll do her press photos. I'll work with her on the vocals. I'm on her in makeup duty. And I'll teach her how to handle our groupies. <laughs> <laughs> Pia, how'd you like to be the newest member of Polly in the Pockets? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I absolutely forbid it. A string quartet, maybe, but a rock band, never. It's just not proper. But it's just this once. Seriously, Miss Throckmorton? How will you be able to sleep at night, knowing you kept Pia from fulfilling her dream? I'll find a way. I'm sorry, Pia, but the I know. She said Pia couldn't be in the band, but she didn't say anything about Polly. Are we going to get in trouble? Chillax, Leah. This plan is a lock. If we're rehearsing when Miss Throckmorton's around, Pia and I will just switch places. Good plan. Indeed it is, if I do say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure we can pull this off? I mean, look at us. We're so different. We don't even dress alike. Pia, my dear, you're only one floor away from a whole new you. Thing is in the pocket jeans. But if you're gonna pass for Polly, there's still one minor detail we have to take care of. Let's do it! Is there anything you can play, Pia? Of course. Violin? Um, no. You know, I've always envisioned myself a drummer. My vision was a tad off. Still, I bet I'm a natural at guitar. What do you think? Just out of curiosity, can you sing? Not a note. Shocker. Chillax, girls. We still haven't tried keyboards. <laughs> You are in big trouble, young lady. What have you done to your hair? Pia, you've left me no choice but to call your parents and book the next flight home. I called Mum and got permission. And besides, I'm just watching them rehearse. You're not going to forbid me from being a casual observer, are you? It is you. Rest assured, we'll be discussing this later. And don't forget, I'm expecting you for tea at four precisely. Whew. Pocket Plaza has to be the coolest place in the world. Did you see the pool? It's like something out of a movie. I've seen better. Where? Never mind where. I just have. Hey, do you guys hear that? What? This dress calling my name. Nope, couldn't hear it over the sound of this one calling mine. Shh. 
There's Miss Fang now. To be honest, I don't know how I managed to pull us off. I've never been able to keep a secret from her, ever. Don't worry, the important thing is, she totally bought it. Ah, the sweetest smell of all. The smell of scandal. Don't smell anything. I wonder what Polly's secret is, besides the fact that she does a killer British accent. Maybe she bites her toenails. Well, whatever Polly's secret, we are going to find out and expose her. Mark my words, sister girls. By the end of the weekend, Polly Pocket is going down. <laughs> oh! Now look what you made me do! Well, girls, enjoy the pool. Hope you're still here by the time I'm done writing. Don't say you love me, then walk away. I'm as confused as yesterday. I still love you in every way. Can you hear what I say? Unfortunately, yes. And it sounds like someone ran over a cat. I thought Polly had mad singing skills. Maybe that's her deep, dark secret. She's been lip-syncing all these years. Who doesn't lip-sync these days? Not helping. Just stay. Just stay. Can you hear yourself? No, not with the headphones. Next time, bring enough to go around. Speaking of my serious lack of vocal talent, we need to bounce some rehearsal time. And by we, I mean me. Off to rehearsal, eh, Polly? We sure are. Aren't we, Polly? Yes. I mean, yeah. Yeah, we have to rehearse because we've decided to add a drum thingy. Fascinating. Now, where's Pia? I think she's on the beach working on her speech. Tan. <laughs> well, if you see her before I do, tell her I'm looking for her. We've got to give Polly the heads up. Run, Leah, run! Ladies and gentlemen, my father really wanted to be here today, but... <clears throat> Ladies and gent- Polly! Pia! Pia? <gasps> Whoa! Pia! What are you doing on the ground? Oh, um, you know me. Such a klutz. A klutz after eight years of ballet training? I should think not. Now, let's go. It's almost four o'clock. Four o'clock, of course. Which means- Me, of course. Don't tell me you forgot. Of course not. I'm really looking forward to it. She'll never make it through tea alone. Miss Throckmorton and I have been taking tea together since I was in nappies. One false move and the jig is up. What are we going to do? You know, Miss Throckmorton, I'd be quite happy to do this every day. We do take tea every day. Yes, I know. It's just that I wish I could do it twice a day. That's very sweet of you. Phew. You guys rehearse without me. I've got to finish this speech. Polly? Polly? Sorry. I guess I fell asleep while working on my speech. How's it coming? It's, well, non-existent. Oh, I must have started over a gazillion times. Why don't I help you? In boarding school, I wrote many boarding school, I wrote many a speech. Though, I yet to give one. That would be great. How do we even know Polly's up here? We don't. That's why we're looking. Oh, so sorry. No, I'm the one that should be sorry. Here, let me help. Thanks. She acted like she didn't even know us. And she was all nervous about something. Maybe she's worried. According to her passport, her real name is Pia Pocket. Which means Polly's been living a lie. Now, all I have to do is figure out how to expose her. Submit the dirt to the school paper? Uh, call the tablet? I knew it! Nobody can be that popular and pretty and talented and nice without something being wrong with her. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! <gasps> What? What is it? Hi, Beth. I didn't know you'd be... And... Oh, my cousin Pia. Pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Freaky, huh? See you girls later. Polly, I've been thinking. Pretending to be you, 
to fool Miss Throckmorton. It's hard work. Maybe I should bail out on this silly dream of being in the band. But it's what you've always wanted. Don't worry. We'll figure out something. I promise. Miss Throckmorton. Hmm. Very interesting. Beth, why aren't you getting all mad? Because I have a better plan. A way genius plan. Share much? If Polly's a no-show at the dedication tomorrow night, in order to save face, Pia will have to step in for her as lead singer. And she can't sing. Polly and the Pockets will be humiliated on live TV. We're out of way to get Polly away from that party. And by Monday, I'll be assured the coveted role of most popular girl in school. <laughs> Cool. I know! And I so can't wait to hear Polly and their new band member, Pia Pocket. <gasps> I knew she was up to something. Oh no! I left my speech in the room! Oh, be right back. Hurry, Polly, hurry! Oh, there you are! Sorry, can't chat in a hurry, bye! Ah. Sorry, can't chat in a hurry, bye! Oh, please, Pia. How long did you think you could fool me with that faux American accent? Let's go. But it's me, Polly, and I have to get my speech and my band's performing. You're coming with me, young lady. It's Polly. Where are you? I'm locked in Miss Throckmorton's hotel room. Try to stall until I figure out how to get out of here. Okay, we'll think of something. What? Polly can't make it. You have to pretend to be her and make the speech. No, no, no! I'm terrified of public speaking. Besides, I don't know her speech. Don't worry. She'll recite it over the phone, and all you have to do is repeat it. And now to make the hotel dedication speech, the one and only Polly Pocket. <sighs> For Polly. Uh, hi. Good morning. I mean, evening. Ladies. My father wanted to be here today. My Father wanted to be here today, but says he couldn't. He asked me to get your Daria up to the room immediately. <gasps> you are in big trouble, young lady. I seem to have forgotten my speech, so I guess I'll just wing it. Uh, to be perfectly honest, up until this weekend, I've always been afraid to pursue my dream. What is she doing? Saving my butt. Maybe it's the people. Maybe it's the place. Maybe it's the water. I don't know. What I do know is if I manage to become the person I've always wanted to be, then you can too. What I do know is if I manage to become the person I've always wanted to be, then you can too. And when I leave this very special place, I'll be taking a little bit of its spirit with me. So promise me, you'll continue to dream big or dream small. Just dream. <laughs> I've got to get back down there and sing. Go, go, go. You totally rocked! 
believe I just said actual words in order in front of all those people. Thanks for the solid, Pia. That was cool. Too cool. Miss Throckmorton, I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't have lied to you. Pia, I'm so, so sorry. I tried to stand in your way. I meant well, I did. Feel free to pursue your dream to be a rock star. As long as you keep up your grades, the violin, your riding lessons, ballet classes, continue French, Japanese, and Russian lessons... Oh! Thanks for coming out to our benefit concert at Pocket Plaza. Welcome, Polly and the Pockets. You ready to rock? Pocket. Just you wait. This has been the best weekend of my life. I can't believe we managed to pull it off. I couldn't have done it without your help. Strange as it sounds, and pretending to be you, I became a better me. But if we had just let you be you in the first place, you would have fit into the band right from the start. Still, it was mad fun. You gotta... 